Hello, Mark Crossfield here, and we've got another swing sent to me here via my iPhone app called Golf. I'm gonna give this guy some help. What we're seeing in this video, we see from here, uh, backswing, not too bad, some good movements. Downswing, we're seeing a bunching up, so the early extension on the way through, so the hips are moving this way rather than turning through. And we're also seeing the famous chicken wing, sort of parting on the way through, not getting connected on the way through, we can see here. So. Let's get out there into the fix, see if we can give this guy some help and get him playing some better golf. Okay, so the fix. Let's start with the chicken wing. Biggest problem we're seeing on the way through, if I show you from behind, is we see the left arm come out to the side of you very quickly, and that's coming because you're separating your hands on the way through your elbows part left wrist stays on top of right to give you this chicken wing effect finish also what we tend to see as you come through is we see the elbow outside of your hands rather than if a stronger player was coming through you'd tend to see the hand stacking more on top of the elbow so look little drill i try and help you work on the feeling of getting rid of this chicken wing I do this a lot with my students and it, it works well actually, it gets good results. Set yourself up to the ball and I'm going to give you two checkpoints I want you to try and get into in a, in a drill before you hit your shots. Set yourself to the ball, you're going to hit one, pick the club over the ball, then literally get into this position here. So flick your hands forward, you'll feel your forearms come together, your elbows move close together and I want the butt end of the club pointing at the back wall. So flick that forward. Second position I want you to try and get the butt end of the club pointing towards your target. So butt end of the club towards back wall here. Butt end of the club towards the target. So I feel like you're going to kind of spear something out in front of you. So one, two, and then let your right foot come up and turn through. So do a couple of those just to get the feel of the release as we call it. Your arms staying connected on the way through. Butt end of the club towards the target. You can let your right foot come up to the second stage and then through. Hit a shot trying to recreate as many of those feelings as you can. Because what we're seeing you do on the way through is basically the relationship between your hand, the club, and your elbow is very different. You won't be getting this position. You'll be more here where the club wants to point off to the left of you. Then on the way through, we see your club coming through. Again, still trying to point off to the left of you because you're reluctant to stay connected. Keep your arms together on the way through. You want to part, which is very common. So it's flicking the club towards the target the first stage, pointing the butt end behind you. you. Feel like you're spearing at the target on the way through. Point the butt end and then turn through. Just do those before you hit your shots. It's a drill. You just need to do it as much as you can. One, two, through. Hit one. Just trying to recreate that feeling. It really helps you work on trying to get rid of that chicken wing. Another main cause for chicken wing, just as a sub note, you can watch some of my uh, grip videos. You might find in your left hand you're getting the club very much through the middle of your palm rather than the base. That's common with chicken wing, tends to make you work the wrist this way. As opposed to the club being in the base of your palm helps you work the face and the club more in a released fashion. Then the last little bit about the early, early um, extension, pushing your hips forward. This is the case, There's a lot, I've done lots of videos on this, so maybe refer back to a couple of those, but literally, great drill again I use with my students. Set yourself up to a ball, and then what I want you to do is keep the club by the ball, keep your shoulders square, open your hips up, really feel that your hips open up to the target while you try and keep your hips, uh, your shoulders pretty square to target, and just feel how much separation you can get between your hips and your shoulders, because that's what you're missing. You want to come into the hit the ball here, and then get all bunched up and a bit chicken wingy on the way through. Hope that helps, definitely great. You've got your, your little net set up there with your sheet in your garden. Great way of drilling it without even seeing where the ball goes. Because don't worry where the ball goes when you drill this at the beginning. One, two, button towards the target and through, and then hit some. It's a great drill, works well, gets people really understanding the feelings of how to beat a chicken wing and get some hitting some better shots. Hope that helps. Thanks for sending me the video, and we'll see you all in the next video. And uh, post comments, let me know how you get on. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.